there's an ad for Beam at the end of this video. I went to Ojai last month where a restaurant called Pinion puts furikake on their bagels. What a big brain move. This flavor profile is similar enough to an everything bagel to feel a little familiar. Salt flakes and sesame seeds are in both, but different enough to be novel. The addition of seaweed and MSG makes it super umami. Here's the problem. Now you want to know what it tastes like, but a maximum of 2% of this video's viewers are willing to make bagels from scratch just to find out if they like it or not. If you're on the fence, I'll point you towards Brian Lagerstrom's video that outlines how to make homemade bagels in just one hour. But if you want to try making a custom made bagel without baking bagels, I've got a trick that lets you experiment using pre-made ones. Step one, buy a half dozen of the best plain bagels you can find. You're going to add your own gourmet topping, but this process won't improve a bagel that starts off subpar. If you go out and buy a sack of textureless Thomas's or stale Sara Lee's, they will not become artfully baked bagels by magic. Go patronize your local high quality bagel shop. For video demonstration purposes, I bought these from Einstein's. That way viewers can see the results when applied to a commonly shared, nationally available baseline. Mix one egg white with one tablespoon of water until it's homogenous, and then brush that whitewash onto the top of a bagel. Press that wet top into a dish of furikake, and you're already almost most done. But first, a note on what this is. If you've never bought this stuff before, the first thing you'll notice while shopping, especially online, is that there are a dozen different varieties even within just one brand. Some of them have bits of dried shiso or dried egg, and it can be overwhelming to guess which one you'll actually like, if any. To a general audience, I say go with the one labeled Nori Komi. It's the classic formulation that's got familiar flavors like sesame and seaweed without the more assertive flavors like dried wasabi or fish flakes. If this is your first time hearing about furikake, you might think I'm doing that cooking entertainer thing where I use exotic ingredients so that I come off as learned and worldly, but the fact that they sell this at Trader Joe's should be reasonable proof that it's a tasty product that a lot of people love. Anyway, stick your newly encrusted bagels in a 350 degree oven until they're warm all the way through. That's about seven minutes for a bagel this size. In the meantime, I will mix the green parts of a sliced scallion and a half teaspoon of yuzu kosho into a big serving of whipped cream cheese. I should probably do another aside for this ingredient too. Yuzu kosho is a fermented paste made out of yuzu fruit and chili peppers. It's tangy, spicy, and a little bit funky. I have a red one and a green one, and today I'm using the green one for for no other reason than the fact that seaweed and scallions are green too. Between this paste and the filling and the super umami topping, the flavor of this thing is gonna be intense. The bagels are warm, the egg wash is set, and the custom topping has been thoroughly adhered. If you did it right, the toppings won't just flake off even when you slice it in half. Schmear on some yuzu kosho scallion cream cheese and serve it open face or sandwiched together. The final dish is decisively salty, assertively savory, a teeny tiny bit sweet, and liable to yank your sinuses awake with Yuzu Kosho's bright blend of citrus and chili peppers. Even if you never make this specific bagel, it's a nifty trick to keep in your back pocket. You can apply it to any custom topping, which opens up a brave new world of bake-free bagel exploration. Try an upper crust of good quality pepper flakes like Aleppo or Gochugaru and pair that with cream cheese that's been mixed with honey. Hot honey bagel, equal parts sweetness and punishment. Maybe you do black pepper and lemon zest on the bagel plus Frank's Red Hot infused into the cream cheese. Call that one lemon pepper wet. This one's topped with a mix of freeze-dried shallot, garlic chives, and green peppercorns, and it came out so good that I think I need to make a whole other video just on that as my newest favorite spice mix. Really, all of these are just ideas for inspiration, but I made this video specifically to put you on to the Yuzu Kosho Furikake Bagel. It's a combination that makes perfect sense, both in concept and execution. It's like, just when you think everything is everything, there's something else. Beam has paid to be mentioned at the end of this video. Beam makes a hot cocoa called Dream Powder that helps you get the quality sleep that you need. If you struggle dozing off or staying asleep throughout the night and you're the type of person who enjoys a nighttime treat, Dream Powder helps with both. It's got ingredients like reishi, magnesium, L-theanine, and melatonin, and since it only has 15 calories with no added sugar, you can enjoy it right before bed as a nighttime comforting beverage. This one also has CBD in it, but if you're not about that, you can get the non-CBD version instead. I'm so dedicated to this ad read that I had a baby two weeks ago just so I could come show you how bad life is when you don't get good sleep. I've got Sam 
bentonite carry-ons under my eyes and holes in my brain. You've got to do everything you can to get as much deep sleep as you can, otherwise you'll end up like this. With Beam, you mix one or two scoops into hot milk or water and froth it up for a nice wind-down beverage that helps you fall asleep and stay asleep. If you struggle to take supplement capsules every night, it's a whole lot easier making a habit out of something with flavors like white chocolate peppermint, cinnamon cocoa, and sea salt caramel. Subscribe to save 20%, plus get an additional 15% off and a free frother with my code Shaquille when you use my link or scan this code. That's up to 35% off the original price. Do not sleep on this discount.